Unless they actually brought me all the way back. I was trying to figure out if I messed up my bookmark. No, I did not. Perfect. I do have to fight them again, though. Alright, so this is where we're actually at. Um, we're at Dactyle Nest. I think we're looking for... I think, like, the elder of the village of this area where or something like that. And he has, like, a red charm thing someone mentioned. Stone gem. Uh, but we're trying to look for that person. I know they were talking about... Magus? And Lavos? And I think Magus revives Lavos and is supposed to destroy the world and that's what we're trying to prevent now. Uh, we met Robo, who I fell in love with within 30 minutes. <laughs> Ying is now part of our team. Um, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. I do actually really do like uh, Robo, like a lot. I think it's supposed to go this way. But my problem is I already fought these guys. So I guess I have to refight them. That's where I'm at. I probably should actually doing stronger attacks, but it's fun. Have you played this before, Maggie? Uh, Maggie? Say it. Can, I can I can get my heal. There we go. <laughs> or actually, maybe not. I might be dead. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Uh, let's see. Supersonic speech, or I don't think I've ever done that. Not yet. Okay. I know this battle is actually kind of tough, and I'm definitely knocked out. These guys are tough. Oh, I should be using like fire. And I need to revive, <laughs> like as soon as possible. What was the thing? I know I used something, I think, to like take him out really quickly last time. All right, let's see. I need to Athena, cure yourself. I might not make it through this either way, because, yeah. Hey, I know I've lived through these guys before. Or have I got beaten them? They're very tough. I haven't actually deal with them. Damn. I feel like I'm just trying to get my attack off. <laughs> like, right before I get the opportunity. They're like, I don't know, die. <laughs> Damn. I really cannot get, like, two seconds to, uh... I end up wasting all my revives. Can't get like two seconds to do it. Alright, I actually have an idea. Okay, selecting stuff is not the best, I'm not gonna lie. Personally, I try and select someone to like use heals on or something like that. Doesn't feel the best all the time. That's a little better. I right, have a plan. Go heal Mr. Robo here. I meant to heal Chrono. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Like, I end up just healing myself or just wasting my turn. I don't know what I did last time. I remember taking these guys out very quickly. 
Alright, that's better. It might have just been regular attacks, or I think I might have done like counters with Chrono. Which I have definitely not been able to do. Because I'm not sure if these guys are like elementally weak. Actually, that yeah, does a lot more damage. Just two regular attacks. Oh, that's what I was trying to do. He's like elemental attacks, she's just been using regular attacks. Well, that happened. Anyway, we won. Um, but no, I... I feel disappointed. I never played this when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, for granted, this game is older than me. Don't get me wrong, but... I kind of wish at some point I played this. Because I've abs been absolutely loving it. I'm trying to remember these guys are weak against elemental or just regular attacks. Regular is fine. Perfect. I just want to take them out really quick. Okay, that was an enemy. I wasn't sure if that was. I need to heal if I can. Love you, Robo. I feel like not even using the elemental attacks is even worth it, just regular attacks. Uh, I'm messing up. There you go. Oh, that works. So what now? Meso Meso It's armor. <laughs> yeah, armor. And Mesozobic. Meso <laughs> Mesophilioma. <laughs> Alright, I think regular attack should be fine here. <laughs> of anything I just have to watch out for Luca. Perfect. Okay. I need, I was going to go, I think I need to go south first. So I feel like north's going to be somewhere. I feel like south might have something. South's going to have nothing. All right, cool. So let's go north. Just a bunch of paths. Not a flower. What is that? What am I supposed to be doing up here? <laughs> also, am I even supposed to be here? I think that's what I'm starting to wonder. Obviously, there's something shining back there. I can't tell if that's like a star? Or am I supposed to interact with it somehow? I don't see anything to interact with up here, though. Or... Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. There's the item thing that triggers. Is this what I'm supposed to do with that? The horn petal fang...
I need to like remember things. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess I'm not supposed to be up here. Or I am supposed to be up here, I just don't have the thing that I need. I think my problem is I don't remember what the villagers told me. <laughs> it's been a couple days. If I do know they mentioned something about a petal, a fang, a feather, and I have the other one. I just don't remember. But I'm supposed to be doing something with all of those. Robo tackle. Let me double check. Feather, petal, horn, fang. And I'm supposed to be doing something in the force with those four for like the monster to pop out. I don't know if it's supposed to be here <laughs> or if it was somewhere else. Either way, I'm fighting all these enemies again. That's fine. Just to be able to level up. There's nothing wrong with, you know, a little bit of grinding. I feel like I might end up just walking back to the village. Just to clarify what they want me to do again, then maybe go back. Because I feel like I needed like those four items and then there was something else I needed. But then they also told me that... Like, even when you have like a train of thought there, like I thought they had something and I really did not. <laughs> Alright, let me just try and make my way back. Excuse me, friends. Otherwise, we're pretty good. Gotta say, did you counter there? <laughs> okay, I learned Napalm, Cyclone Sweep, Fire Sword, Doltec. I just learned like a million things. Cleave. Deal double damage to an enemy. That's actually very powerful. Lightning 2 is coming up. Way down the road. Heal Beam restores health to everyone. That's awesome. Robo Tackle, charge and attack. Bomb enemies within a circle. <laughs> Noise. Boost an ally's defense. Protect. I feel like we're learning some good moves coming up. Yeah, that's my current problem. So I just don't, don't know exactly what I need to do here. <laughs> I also feel like it's a good thing because now I can at least go back, explore a little bit, level up if I need to. And so I have to don't worry, I have to worry about that later. I just gotta figure out what I need.
I forgot how I just walked right by them. All right, so this is, what's this called again? Dactyl nest. All right, let's see, cause meeting grounds. Laruba clan called. Okay, yeah, they were talking about the Dactyl. Laruba clan called Dactyl fly in sky. We can, we know clan call, no can fly. <laughs> Words. Where are you from? Why are you here? Kino no like you. Appreciate it. We fight rep reptites. Uh, La Ruba clan hide in north woods. Always hide, run from reptites. They weak. Come mountain. Strange mountain, strange thing happened. That that why mystic mountain. Strong person become chief. Man, woman, boy, girl, no matter. Ioka chief, big muscle. So I wonder if, okay, so they, they mentioned the clan in the North Woods. So I wonder if I went into the wrong woods. Like what's here? Is this a thing? No. I feel like it would be like more, like understandable. Like you look at it and be like, oh yeah, that's 100% something. Unless this was actually it. Like dactyl nests, maybe the north woods, or the hunting range, <laughs> like one of those two. Oh wait a minute, no, they told me to go to the hunting range. So the monster should be in here, or whatever I gotta do with those items. Hi frog. Wait. Should I be killing these frogs? <laughs> wow. Actually gave me a bit. Yeah, maybe this was being here? Not the dactyl nest? Where y'all? So I don't think these guys are effective against uh, physical attacks. I'll make sure. I don't think they are. Oh, they are. Okay, never mind. Or at least Luca's physical attacks. <laughs> Thing and maybe I can explore it here. Oh, it's raining! Yeah, that was the thing they said. It needed to be raining. And then they have to have the items, and then whatever happens, happens. Can I climb this? No. It's actually kind of hard to see. It'll probably rain on and off. At least that's my guess. I love the frogs only do like one damage. <laughs> they do one damage and actually surprisingly give you a good amount of items and level one up. It's very interesting how much experience they actually give you for nothing. Thought I saw something there. I think I did. But it's whatever. At least the good news is I don't need to deal with much of my MP. I can kind of save it up a little bit. Oh, hi there. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. I just want to save my MP up a little bit. I've been using it a lot. I mean, Robo's are already low as it is.
So let's actually heal up by MP a little bit. All right, I feel good about that. Uh, I think I need I need another ring. <laughs> oh, thanks. I wasn't sure if I can need it here. Maybe I have to be up there. Like, can I explore over here? Actually, I can. Okay, this is a path. I feel like I can grab, climb these vines. <laughs> At least I should be able to in the game. It's just like, no. <laughs> I'm literally just pressing A everywhere I go. I'm just hoping for the best. Actually, I think I get that. I think like where the tree branches are, like if you go underneath them, looks like you might be able to cross over wherever they are. I don't get up there because I want to see what that monster is doing. Like there's a lot here. So I want to be able to climb like a vine or a rock. Oh wait, there's a vine right here. There we go. All right, cool progression. Like what if I like stand here? When oh wait, there's a vine right there. <laughs> Whoops. All right, well, we're learning. I knew that. Where's that monster? Actually, I kind of wonder, like, do I have to like leave and then come back down and hope it comes out? Or maybe it's scared of me? I think this is the monster I was looking for or that they were telling me about. Got plenty of... Cause it's like I'm down over here. It won't come out. Oh, I found something. <laughs> okay, there was something here. Cool. So I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe it's scared of me. Like whatever, when that monster pops out and it starts raining, like maybe it's scared of me. I have to like run over there. Because from here, it doesn't pop out. All right, let me test this out. I want to test this theory. When it rains again, it might not come out now because I'm looking over here. Or maybe it's too late because I took too long. If I walk over like here and come back. Nope. Unless it moves. Oh, whoa. Okay, it does move. Good to know. It only pops out when it's raining. That's good to know. So if I wait here, will it pop out here or will it pop out somewhere else? Oh, wait. <laughs> also, hello. I just want to be like prepared. To like move if I have to. All right, all right, moved. How? Will you stay up there? Okay, so there's certain spots maybe it actually spawns out of. That's one of them. But maybe it sometimes spawns out here and down there. And probably another spot somewhere else. So just once it starts raining, I have to figure out where it's at. Or maybe I can pick a spot and kind of camp there until it starts raining. And then maybe it'll pop out. So 
I just don't want to scare it. Hey, if it's out now, it's not up there that time. It's somewhere. It's not over here. Go up here, maybe. Okay, so maybe it hops around. So it was just down there. It probably popped up somewhere that I wasn't at. So possibly up here next time. Or not. Or it's just going to tease me again. We'll figure this out. Just dance with everyone. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? All right, so it wasn't top left. I'm just gonna walk. Well, maybe I'll see something. If I don't see anything, I'll just go back. All right, let's go back. So there has there has to be like specific spots. I'll just pop out that randomly. I found two. I don't know where exactly here it'll pop out at, but it pops out. But I wonder if standing near it could actually be a bad thing. And maybe I won't come out if I'm near it. And I have to run to that specific spot to figure out where it's at. Like it's not popping out back over here. It's not there. The heck are you? Maybe it was to the left? I kind of just want to stay at the top now. Because this spot I know for sure it'll come out. This spot I know it'll come out too. I just don't want to be near it. I think that's the thing. Like when it does pop out. Excuse me. Mm, all right, let me climb real quick. Come here. Gotcha. Oh, I actually had to fight it. Holy crap, it's strong. Should I actually be killing it? Takes you down to one HP, cool. Uh, yeah, I guess we have to fight it. Napalm? <laughs> I just wanna see what Napalm's like. It seems like all of his attacks take you down to one HP. Uh, that's actually surprisingly strong. Yeah, it's not killing me. I feel like I should not be fighting this. Okay, it worked. 248, 30 TP. All right, you strong here, take. Obtain three petals, three fangs, three horns, and three feathers. You very strong, take this too. Obtain the th third eye. What's this thing do? I mean, I have so many of the feathers and stuff at this point, but what's third eye? It's an accessory. Doubles evasion? 
Oh, damn. Um, <laughs> it's actually very good. So everyone's evasion right now off the top of my head. 11, 12, 14. Let's just do magic plus two. Is the stamina plus two? Um, I kind of like the idea of evasions. I don't know if I want to give that to Robo. I feel like if anyone, I think I want to give it to Luca. Because her defense isn't all the best. But I also feel like I want to give it to my healer. <laughs> so you want your healer to live, right? I also feel like Luca's like my most prone to dying, maybe. Oh, sorry, right. story right wording. All right, so this led me really nowhere other than I mean, we got a cool new item. If I'm thinking progression-wise, nothing really. Unless this thing just keeps popping out over and over again. I think I'm just gonna leave here because I don't think there's anything else. We got, th I think, third eye was the main thing we needed. All right, so that wasn't it. All right, let me double check with these places again. You strange, have good stuff. No, chief, say no. Okay, no can trade. Who is chief? Lightning Sun Dinosaur? No. Oh, I should have remembered that. Go hunt hunting range, get Petal Fang Horn Feather. When rain, rain monster come out, rare one, good hunt. Okay. That's what they were telling me about with a monster. Trade you shiny stone. <laughs> Want some titanium? No, the civilization is just going to you know, bolster up the titanium. I'm trying to figure out if I can climb this. And I think the answer is no. Also, the chief's not here, so. All right. I'm just trying to wonder if I'm missing something. Or if I'm even supposed to be here right now. You wear funny skins. <laughs> Thank you. You wear pretty stone. You want you want to see pretty red uh pretty stone redstone chief has. Chief hut north of village. Okay. So the chief has a red stone. You're uptight friend, I beat you up. Drink happy. Okay. Thank you. I feel like I'm missing something, or if I'm not even supposed to be here right now. I Man, I've never checked out the forest maze. Could try to investigate that. But even then, I don't even know if I should be there. Looks like the answer is no. I don't have whatever I need for this maze. That's all this area has. I oh mean, I guess that too. If that's anything. That might just be... I don't know. All. Feel stuck. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right now. So the only thing I remember Lucas saying last time was something about Magus and the fairgrounds. She didn't really, to my knowledge, she didn't really say anything important as far as I know. I mean, she probably did. <laughs> 
But I went back to the fairgrounds, disappeared. And then I tried going back to, I forget what time period it was, supposed to one with the toad, fro uh, frog. And I couldn't do anything there either. And then all the current time periods, I really can't do anything either. So what else is there to do that I'm missing? Clearly missing. I'm also wondering, like, since I got the third eye now, like, could I use that towards anything? Also, where is the chief? They keep saying the chief's north in the forest, but I've been up there. That chief is not up there. <laughs> been everywhere around that forest. Yeah, I think I'm lost. <laughs> So how much I can really use to recap there. I know you should talk to the villagers and all that stuff. Okay, I get that. The Aruba clan hide in North Woods. Always hide, yeah. So what I'm getting from this is that the Aruba clan hides in the woods, but we don't know where because they're hiding. Something about Mystic Mountain. Strong person becomes chief, man, woman, boy, girl, no matter. Ioka chief, big muscle. I don't think I'm, I don't know if I should be here right now. <laughs> I think that's the only thing. I just need to figure out which time period I need to be in. And then I can just proceed. I'm feeling like I need to be in the period with frog. But I'm also wondering why they would open up this period if I should not be here. There's nothing really to do here. I might look it up. <laughs> not gonna lie. I think I'm getting to the point where I, I might, because I don't remember enough. <laughs> or I feel like maybe I do remember enough and I'm just missing something. And I just gotta figure out the thing I'm missing. What is this? Oh, Mystic Mountain. All right, that's where I came from. Maybe I missed something on Mystic Mountain. Maybe I didn't. I have to look. I'm sorry. I'm just honestly kind of just slightly defeated. I just don't understand what they're trying to tell me to do at this point. Also, sorry for that. <laughs> also realizing I have a lot more to do. I went through the cave of Fall Hecran. I'm in the wrong period. <laughs> I was right, though. Well, like my initial like assumption, 
I felt right. I mean, screw, just fight them all. So, pretty much, I was doing the right thing. Did I go through the wrong portal back then, then? I was doing the right thing originally. I think I just missed what I needed. I didn't read too much into it. The only thing I really read was go to such and such. I'm like, okay, I'll figure out the rest. I was right though with my initial thing. I had to go to 600 AD. That's where I was before. But I wonder if there was if I just missed something. Well, I teleported there before. I probably did all these extra things here already too, which I'm like probably ahead of the game now a little bit. Alright, that's actually nice. Let's use Napalm. I want to try this. Robo tackle maybe. So let's jump through. Uh, can I heal? Yeah. Okay, I still kind of want to be a dick and mess around with whatever that is, but I feel like I should probably just avoid it for now. <laughs> like he's warning me for some reason. Uh, I need to look for... I don't know which one it is. Could be this one. No. No. Yes. So we're going to 600 AD, the Truce Cannon. I just don't know what to do here. <laughs> I just know I have to be here. Maybe I should have looked. <laughs> Well, it's funny though, because I was here before. I couldn't find anything. So I'm wondering, maybe I should have brought. Oh, wait, do I need to bring Marley? I need to think about that. Okay, I think I I got the idea. <laughs> Maybe. But we'll see. Because uh, a lot of it, what it pretty much told me was a lot of the stuff I already thought I needed to do. <laughs> or at least I already did. 
Maybe I didn't do it. Like I went to the wrong area, or I think I just didn't explore it. I mean, we're gonna find out in like two seconds. So it's it's good. It's good. Uh, I was gonna say, how much health and stuff do I even have? I maxed out. I was gonna say, I just healed. All right. So I do. I do remember they were talking about the supplies and stuff at the bridge. The little thing I found. <laughs> Told me I should be going up through here again and to the castle. I thought I went to the kitchen at the time though. Maybe I didn't. I definitely did not. Oh, what's happening here? Why my brother larders are nearly empty? Oh, that makes sense. They need supplies. Go talk to the... Okay. Serve some right thing and you men with swords are the only ones poking. <laughs> Protecting this kingdom. Enough of that. Are you never going to set aside your petty feud? You're a grown... You're a grown men. Act like it. Mind your own business. What do you know of it anyway? Grumble, grumble. Come on now. The time is wasting. Uh... He may act like he doesn't care, but our, our master is always worried about the commander. Okay, I think that's all I needed to do. So maybe now that I told him, supplies will come. I'll go back to the bridge. As a seems full, trying to get food to the front lines, making sure they came. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why I needed. Wait. Oh. <laughs> He's wheezing. Take this for the troops. Obtain spice jerky. Okay, here we go. And this is for you. Here. Obtain strength capsule. Oh, hell yeah. When you see that full brother of mine... Tell him he had better come back alive. It's a good brother. Uh, let's give it the chrono. I do like Robo is pretty much like strength and healing. It's like a tank that can heal. It's kind of ridiculous. He's slow though. I think that's my only downside with him. I think Marley's a little bit better when it comes to healing. I just like Robo. <laughs> All right, so let's heal. Save up. I will go. Oh damn! Uh, Lord Krona, what word? Give him food. Yes. Food. He's brought us food. <laughs> it was my brother. I see. He see this all. Or Chrono, if I should if I should not return alive, give my brother my thanks. Uh what's happened? That's what I'm wondering. Magus troops have launched their attack, or defenses will not hold. You are knights of Guardia. Defend the honor of our order and drive the enemy back whence it came. But we are far outnumbered. This is our last line of defense. It must not break. Very well. Moved. As you can see, Lord Chrono, it's all my men can do is hold this line. But you lend your blade to our battle as well? I guess. You have my most profound gratitude. The Fiend Lord's trooper, troops, <laughs> troopers, are positioned just beyond the bridge. Take this with you, make you safe. Golden helm. Oh yeah. Did I just you just give me his helmet? <laughs> I think he's like just take my helmet and live. Uh okay, cool. Damn, it's pretty good. Alright. Let's do it. Like, am I blocking this a little bit? They just killed the troops. 
So that's happening. And there's like a flying... Uh, I'll move my head. I think it's my only problem with this game is trying to figure out where exactly to like position my head. <laughs> there we go. I guess we'll, we'll, I'll go back up here for now. It kind of depends. <laughs> kind of all over the place. Uh, I'm Ozzy, one of the Lord Magus's three generals, and to his enemies, I grant death. Three generals. All right. Go, my children, take him to the graves. I find Ozzy too. I, I, <laughs> Unless we're just finding the generals here. Oh, wait a minute. No, we just saw this guy. Did we not? Like in the future? Or current time? Like we saw his ancestor. Uh, that's not good. We saw his ancestor, I think. Can I just robo tackle? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we saw Ozzy's ancestor last time we looked. I think. Fire punch. Try that. Oh, we won. Cool. Hmm. Stronger than I thought. Chase him down. Punch him. Guys will. Yeah, he did. You have closed the distance. Seems I misjudged you the first time, but I won't do that twice. Oh, he reanimates him. Okay. Slay them all. That's a smart way to build an army. Just, uh. Take the corpses of your enemies. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Pretty impressive. I use like rocket punch. Yeah, because like physical attacks don't do well against them. It's more like magic. So did I just uh turn on? There we go. Just punch Ozzy in the face. Ozzy's in a pickle. Saw that. Alright, Chronos level increased. I am blocked all that up there, aren't I? Uh drats. That's it. This time you're finished, I mean it. You can now win surrender at once. Are they combining? I was like, that's pretty sick. Go Zombor, crush Lord Magus's enemies. One for the general. All right, let's see. So you're probably not going to be very good against physical attacks. I wonder if this can be like Final Fantasy. If I use a healing move on it, it'll take damage. Oh wait, it's got legs. Wait, hold up. Oh. Maybe you could get to take out its legs first. I actually think I'm gonna do that. Also, I might be a little over leveled. <laughs> I did level up quite a bit in the last year. <laughs> death, death, death. All right, so his legs got taken out. Yeah, I'm doing fire sword. That counter is ridiculous. Oh, it heals. 
Okay, so I gotta set up some fire. Maybe you cleave? Alright, I'm gonna do one test just to figure out maybe if it's just water or just all magic. All magic. Alright, so it's physical attacks. Also, I need to heal myself. Alright, let's use cleave. You just pretty much cleave and like robo tackle. Steals MP. See, that's a lot of MP. But we good. <laughs> robo level increase. I should have moved it up here. Because level increased. Everyone's level increased. Alright. Guess I'll move this back down. <laughs> For now. I think my problem is just trying to figure out where I put my webcam, because I feel like the characters are miles like all over the place. That's fun. To say I could use I was gonna say I could use my items to heal up. I might wait. See what's in the market and stuff. Welcome, what can I do for you? You're selling. Yeah, at this point I kinda just wanna I buy a lot. I actually maybe I'll hold off now. <laughs> I think the only thing I really wanted to buy was uh some revives. My thanks. Thank you. The hero has come at last, and I suppose it is only a matter of time before the epic battle begins. It's like you already know it's gonna happen. Mother says I'm not to play outside because it's dangerous with all the monsters. I'm so bored. <laughs> Is it true that His Majesty suffered injury? Oh, what will become of us in our kingdom now? It is locked. They say the Fiend Lord is a master of arcane magic of old. The cantrips of his fiends are nothing compared to what he wields. Okay. Where can Sir Cyrus be? Surely he hasn't deserted the kingdom. Sir Cyrus is supposed to be the hero? That's what I'm starting to wonder. I'm like, is he going to be the hero? Or we end up going to end up becoming the hero? Well, the mythical hero has appeared, so I'm sure we'll be alright. Want to hear something interesting? Sure. Uh, the Nadro, the Denadoro Mountains to the east are filled with monsters called Ogons that wield huge hammers, but burn their weapons and their pussy cats. Actually, that is good though. So, fire. Tales say the legendary Masamun sleeps deep within the Denadoro Denadoro mountains. They say a terrible beast rests there as well, guarding the blade. Pray then the world is at hand. No. Uh, many people visit inns if you're searching for someone. Inns are a fine place to ask. By the way, did you know whirlwind energy will dissipate if it's hit with a wind slash? Nature has a way of balancing things out. I actually did not know that. Magus is trying to summon a terrible evil. If he succeeds, there will be no quarter for us. We'll all perish. That's why I mean to keep hiding in the bottom of this mug. <laughs> Uh, you're looking for the hero? Might have better luck down south in the village of Pore. That's where they say he's from. Pore? Pore? Uh, do I want to rest? Yes. I feel like my MP is getting low, so I feel like let's rest and then, uh... We'll come back. Elder's house. Hello. Uh, the I am I seek is the mythical rainbow shell. 
Here's some money to cover your expenses. You have all the rest when you retreat today. I'm counting on you, Toma. Worry not that you do not call me Legendary Explorer without reason, I will not disappoint. Hmm, I'll be waiting good news. Well then, uh, that business is sold. I think I'll go down a drink for the road. I'm a bit busy right now, let's talk later. With the rainbow shell, we could make per charismatic armor to guard magic. Yeah, I worry I may have misplaced my trust in the young man. He claims to be a great explorer, but was I right to believe him? Do I want to go out there now and look for it? Oh, so sorry, excuse me. So only the ancient sword of the Master Moon can slay the Fiend Lord. And only the chosen hero of legend can wield the blade. Uh, this house belongs to Dorino's village elder. My, that is an unusual garb you wear. Are you outlanders? Did you come flee? Magus is fiends too. Maybe. Uh, Magus commands the fe three fearsome generals. Ozzy, Flea, and Slash. Best stay far away from a lot of them. They're not a drop of humanity to be found amongst them. They're fiends through and through. Uh, Magus' keep sits on an island to the east. The sheer cliffs. The sheer cliffs. <laughs> Surrounding it makes it inaccessible. Okay. So maybe, maybe something like the climb in or fly around it. <laughs> I am seriously so sorry. <laughs> that must be his keep somewhere up there. Uh, it's Magic Cave. Fiona's Villa? Oh! There were people talking about her. My husband, Marco, hasn't returned from the war. We planted and tended these woods together, so I mean to do my best to protect them until the day he returns. Who was talking about Fiona? Was it this time period? She's relevant. I just don't remember as to what. I know I heard that name though. He like floated around. She's waiting for her husband, Marco. Where was he? Actually, let me double check. I can remember these things. Uh, hasn't returned from the war, but we planted and tended these woods together. Okay. So he's just fighting out there somewhere. Just fighting. Or in. I should have stayed here. It's cheaper. With this armor, I can join the fight against the Fiend Lord. Sure. Strength capsule. Nice. <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> Alright, I wasn't seeing that coming. I'm afraid my brother will hurt himself. Okay there, man. Buddy. Alright. Just <laughs> Can't believe Marco would ditch his woman on this. The Lord's Valentine's Day. <laughs> Rather, please. Would this be helpful? Just buy two of those. So you must understand. <laughs> All right, I definitely need this armor upgrade, though. I do appreciate at least... Marley is sort of leveling up with the group. In the looks of it. Guess I should look for the hero? A strange monster came here drinking not long ago. Long past, mumbling about Queen Lean this and Masamun that. Sure was an ugly frog man. Okay, that's very good to know. I cannot believe the legendary hero is a boy from this very village. 
Have you heard the latest? No. Give me the gossip. Uh, well then let me be the one to tell you the legendary hero is from our own village. Okay. I'm not seeing little Tata lately. I wonder where he's gone off to. I suppose I should count my blessings. Things are a lot quieter without that brat around causing trouble. What's that guy doing at the top left there? I can't believe that naughty little urchin Tata is a legendary hero. Tata's the hero? I've heard about the magic cave, the one east of the Denadoro Mountains. Okay, that's actually good to know. So if I go to the magic cave and then go west, I can find the Denadoro Mountains. I saw a sheer rock wall there, part like a castle gate, and then a host of fiends strolled right in. Best leave Magus and his cronies to their own devices, devices though, less than you want trouble. So I need something to go into the magic cave. And the Denadoro Mountain. It's somewhere like that way. Once I go north. Okay. Tata's house. Hi. My own son, the legendary hero, seems like I sired myself a champion. Can't say I truly see it, but I don't suppose I ought to question good fortune. Father of the hero. <laughs> like the ring of it. So that's my boy. That's my boy. Uh, your grandpa hero? Yeah. <laughs> my grandson's a great hero. That's from the side of the family. That's from my side of the family. I definitely feel like my family would do the same thing. Alright, all right, what side is this bloodline from? It's gotta be our side. <laughs> I'm going to be Tai Tai's bride one day. So is this kid like, is this like just a little kid? I've only had some spiced jerky. What a wondrous meal I can make. Wait, I, I, I have that. <laughs> the boxes beside the bed have been handed down through this family for generations. I have not the slightest inkling what's within them. Find a way to open them and the contents are yours. A uh, place known as the Magic Cave lies east from the Denadoro Mountains. That place will send chills down a grown man's spine. Tata bears the hero's badge. At first I thought it for a fake, but okay, but it's a genuine article. It truly is the hero of legend. I suspect he's combing the Denadoro Mountains to the north even now, searching for the sword. Okay, we gotta go save that kid. <laughs> Snap into a slim gym. <laughs> oh yeah, brother. Alright, so I gotta go find uh what is it? This is a forest. Definitely not going to a cursed forest. But, uh, is this it? <laughs> so many rock figures, I'm like, is this a mountain? That's actually probably that to the north. Yeah. All right, so that's the Dinodoro Mountains. That's the Magic Cave. So I wonder if I need something in the mountains to open up the Magic Cave. Say, I don't know, the Massaman. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Hello. Oh, that's rude. Interesting little mo looking monsters. I n I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of the counter ring. Unless there's a counter ring that's for like a hundred percent chance. I don't think I'm ever gonna get this thing. Like, the hero's bad, so he defeated the leader of the hero gym. He did. That's well, probably a link. I would have to assume probably like a bunch of grass types. Or hero types, as I might say. So they're calling the kid the hero of legend. I'm like, the only legend I've heard of is... Lynx. Some might call it Zelda's, but... It's truly the legend of Link. And... It's like Zelda's waking up. And so... Okay, what's going on? I think I found Tata. 
I mean, I think I found the kid. <laughs> A boy. <laughs> All right, this is a terrible place. You best run away while you can. Oh, I gotta burn it. Uh, stew fire fire sword. There we go. I wonder if actually burning the weapons also opens up the defense a little bit. Because I did a lot. Alright. I, uh... Can I grab this? Alright. There. Should probably follow the boy, but I also just want to... <laughs> I want to explore. Alright, I'll follow the boy first and I'll explore. Uh, I believe legend is a mistranslation. It's actually leg end, which is to say foot. Okay. That makes sense. Also, the boy ran away. I can't get by him. Never mind. All right, we're going north. It's a sleepy monster. It's just like, I don't want to fight. Listen, man. Let me sleep. Oh, you'll fight, though. Or that will happen. So what if the Legend of Zelda is actually just the Legend of Zelda? It's just Foot of Zelda. Or... Link's... Like... The Foot of Zelda Link's Awakening. Is it really just talking about like Link's foot waking up? Be a possibility. What up? I definitely do feel a little over leveled here though. I'm also fine with it, but just a little, just a little tad, a little over leveled. Maybe by a couple. So what happens when you get lost and you just like, start exploring everywhere? You just end up leveling up everyone. I am very happy with the rings that I have though. Very happy. Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, yes, the foot of Zelda. <laughs> yes. But of course. Yes, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> My foot needs to wake up. really quick. I was wondering like, what's this enemy doing? It's flying around. Flying around. Yeah, they're not very strong. I am actually very happy to be grabbing a lot of Athenian waters after our little trip up north. Don't think I need any more gold. No, actually, no, I do. I lied. Liar. I'm so sorry. Could use some more golden helms. Absolutely on Robo. I just want Robo to be golden.
Just, just spinning. Okay. <laughs> Like, what you doing up there, friend? Just you just spinning around. I did end up actually finding the soundtrack on Spotify, which I am like slowly adding songs as I go. <laughs> and I do say my car rides are popping with these tunes lately. <laughs> Surprisingly helps me focus driving. <laughs> Something like going on the road and then like the battle, the first battle theme starts playing. And you're just trying to take on all the cars ahead of you. And just, uh, again, pegged with pellets. Week. I gotta say, if Tata's ahead of us already, props. He's gotta be doing something right if he's actually living through this. Top of the mound. You know, like, it's <laughs> about to happen. <laughs> let's just play it safe. Actually, let's have some potions. Let's we'll use those. I have 36 potions. Let's use them. I feel like in other games, I always want to rely on like my party members to heal, like what they're actually like MP. I feel like if I can save it up a little bit, and even use like even some of the weaker potions I just pile up all the time, I might as well just use those. I feel like they just give you an abundance of items in this game. Which is great. Not to argue. Why are you on our ambush? Please. to sing your swings oh oh no I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing right now I'm thinking bad because I'm all the way back at the beginning I think I'm also no I'm not there's items here Silver earring. Hello. Increases max HP by 25%. Holy crap. Uh, I can't get, I love rage band too much. That's stamina plus two. That's helped with evasion. No, I'm getting silver earring with uh, robo. I just want robo to be a tank. 
just get a bunch of heals, take all the hits. Let's be a unit. That's all you gotta be, Robo. And deal damage. Heal and deal damage. Make me happy. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to climb all the way back up. <laughs> A G, as some might say. Or a R unit. R unit? R unit. Oh, I actually didn't even fall that far down. Oh! There's two paths. But if I try falling on the left one. Excuse me, birds. I already know about your ambush. So I probably have to do this one more time, but if I take the left path, I might be able to get the other chest. So I think I fell down the right one. I fell, I fell all the way down. So if I go left, maybe. So there's like a little rock in between that waterfall. I probably should be going up here. I want to do. I can go this way. Oh, never mind. That did not matter. <laughs> this does, though. Silver stud. I love finding items by accident. Uh, this is another one. Yep. Reduces MP consumption by 50%. Can I have like multiple earrings? <laughs> Or like uh, accessories equipped. So I really like double evasion. Having more MP also sounds like a delight. Maybe that would be more important than HP. Because that means I could do more heals. But how much do heals cost? Like two? Does it only make it cost one? Make Robo a unit. <laughs> I like double evasion. I like counters. I don't think I'm ever getting rid of the counter one unless, like I said, there's like a 75% or like a 100% counter. <laughs> I might do that, but. All right. How do I fall down? Do I have to fall again? Yep. <laughs> All right, cool. So the waterfall thing didn't. But the left path. I thought it would. Actually, no, wait a minute. It does. Maybe. It might. I'm gonna try? I just wanna see what happens. So we'll fight this. Let's fight the guy now, okay? It might matter. I'll try. Nope, didn't matter. Alright, cool. Well, now I know. <laughs> we won't do it again. <laughs> it was only the two paths. That's it. I thought there was like a little ledge there on the top left. While I was coming up, so I was like, maybe there's something hidden there. Alright, so that's it. So one more time with these guys and then just go on. I will say this. I think I do prefer this type of battle system to compare to random encounters. Because at least this way you're guaranteed to fight the enemies because you know exactly where they are. You just encounter them. Like old school Final Fantasy or any other recent like other type of JRPGs. 
like walking around just getting encounters can kind of be frustrating at times. But this isn't that bad. Why are you in our ambush? Should I tell him? Alright. That way I'm going to go over here first. Alright, can you ambush me now? Like, you'll ruin our ambush. I'm like, I'm right here, man. A one hit KO. And see, damage dealt there. I remember these birds, so play being a problem. Not having a bell before either. Like ten levels ago. Good times. You get a lot of money. Hi, is it Robert Yellow Hat? How you doing? How's your day going today? Or night? Did you say it's such a nice view? Mountainers, mountainers, so nice. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're about to fight some. I healed up. You doing good? It's awesome. Yeah, we'll come on in. We're pretty much doing our first playthrough of Chrono Trigger. It's about day three. I finally figured out where I needed to go. <laughs> yeah, well, I got a little lost at one point. I figured it out. Tad and the frog. Okay. It's just me not comprehending things too well. But I forgot where I'm going. Have you played a lot of Chrono Trigger? You don't mind me asking? Speed capsule. Oh wait, I never used my strength one? Probably should have given the run. Eh, it's fine. It's whatever. Uh, let's give this to. I want Luca to go a little faster. She is a little slow. Maybe yeah, it's just a halfway mark. Hey, these guys have any hammers? Doesn't look like it. I've gotten five of this game's endings. Oh, okay. I had no idea how many endings this game had. here buddy oh okay cool now that's a proper ambush <laughs> kind of waiting for that all right maybe now nah, that would worked I'm trying to think maybe just flamethrower instead but Should burn away. There we go. Awesome. All right. That might have been the first time I saw an ambush. I was like, you know, that actually that was not that not uh, not too bad. It's a stuttering a little there. That was not too bad. All right. Don't want to accidentally fall down a waterfall. That might be like our way back. Okay, 100% something here.
Okay. Just want to make sure I'm, like, healed. Okay, there... Your Tata? Your child. I'm <laughs> the wind, wish. <laughs> Alright, wind. Oh, the massive moon. Hey, don't go up there. She come to take it, the master moon, I mean? Yes. I thought so. Wait just a second, alright? Oh, big brother, where are you, Masa? What is it, moon? Oh. Hey, what's up? Not again. <laughs> so I thought you'd make a name for yourself as hero by grabbing the master moon, did you? What a buffoon. Humans are all the same, aren't they? It's how you use the sword that's important, not ju just that you have the strongest one. You can't even understand something as simple as that. Guess that proves you're human. Where are my dancers? Uh, what should we do? The usual test them. Might as well give them the chance to entertain us for a while. This might be a little terrifying. All right, here we go. Whoosh. They turn into like monsters. <laughs> Or something. Alright. I'm not gonna read it. <laughs> I'm try I don't really know about a bunch of the endings. Or really anything about them. There are other certain parts of the game story, so you just go through. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, I appreciate it. I'll, I'll try to figure it out. It's about now. Yeah. And now I'm confused. <laughs> That's cool though. I actually like that there's multiple ones. Oh, squeak. Hey, it's kind of a mistake. How you doing? Firewall, maybe? I'm not doing that bad health was. Alright, I only got one of them. I'm burned out, brother. What happened? Long day? Oh, wait, should I use Wind Slash? Way I beat him. Well, yes, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Leveled up. How you doing? <laughs> Busy day, dude. I feel that. I'm well. Uh, I worked. And I came home. I had some dinner. And I started streaming. <laughs> Pretty much how, that's how my day's been. It's been busy for me, too. I have midterms this week, but I'm not taking them until Thursday, Friday. And then, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of short, shorter stream week for me. Uh, I'm drinking some adult juice. That grape juice, that uh, lovely grape juice. Yeah, love the wine you're with, they say. <laughs> that adult grape juice. I get you. That sounds delightful. I think I had... I watched the Super Bowl. And I just had a... Uh, I had a pale ale. That was just a local beer. I didn't really want to drink that much, considering I had to work today. I was like, I'll have like one drink. That's pretty much how my weekend. Or at least yesterday. Uh, I did not watch the Super Bowl, but I listened through my wall. How did the listening go? Or was it because like other people were watching it? I could definitely see that or hear that. I love calling wine adult juice. <laughs> oh, you were trying to avoid it. Okay. 
We were trying to avoid it because you just didn't want to hear anything about it? Like you didn't want to get spoiled? Or were you just... Yeah, you just didn't care. <laughs> Which is also totally understandable. Unsolicited Super Bowl audio. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, what we got here? Hey Masa, these ones are pretty tough. No one's lasted this long since Cyrus. Oh. What should we do? Uh, I'm waiting for the Super Bowl to go on sale before getting in <laughs> into it. So no spoils, please. All right, cool. Yeah, I won't tell you a mistake. <laughs> no spoils. Yeah, so those, those who are joining us. I guess it goes for this as well as the Super Bowl. We don't talk spoilers. <laughs> but yeah, I get you. <laughs> I've been avoiding spoilers so much I can't even tell you who was playing. You'll never know. And I won't tell you anything. I won't even tell you what the halfway mark of the game was like. I won't tell you a single thing. Uh, we fight them for real, of course. Wait, what? I'm, f I'm following along. Alright, this is it. No more games. Are you about to come mass me? Hey, fusion, huh? Uh, I've been avoiding... Uh, sign me up for the World Cup, though. Is that a couple weeks away? I'm crazy at that when that rolls around. Get it rolls. I got you. I get it. So I know the Olympics are going on right now. I have not been following the Olympics that much. Not as much as I thought I would. Because I usually follow them like decently well, but I have not followed it that well at all this year. I know there's still like another couple of weeks, but I have not been following along with this year. Uh, I'm not a fan of football, and none of my family are either. I'm so not a fan of it that I had to use Google to make sure it's actually football. Uh, I think the World Cup was pushed to way in the year. Oh, okay. I guess it also to do with, like, pandemic. I would assume. <laughs> right, let's just wait till the end of the year, see if the world's fine at that point. If it is, then we'll have the World Cup. <laughs> Probably smart. Also, the Olympics. That probably caused some problems, too. Alright, no more games. But I like games. Oh, uh, one of my most famous nicknames comes from a World Cup gamble. <laughs> what nickname would that be? Can't think of a single one. All right, with Masa's bravery and Moon's brains. I probably shouldn't say. Oh my god, they are doing fusion. Holy shit. Just yoked out. <laughs> it's showtime. Let's go on, Magus. How you doing? I should kind of have a bop. Uh, oh wait. I want to try this. Nope, didn't do anything. Good. Uh, let's heal up a bit. Cleave. Whoa. It's a combination of dope sour beer and a sexual <laughs> act. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I think I might be dead. Nope. So off. Somehow. Oh, I healed the wrong person. I'm trying to get really quick heals in. Alright. Let's do. 
gotta get her up. Come on. Fire sword, maybe. Up. Uh, just chilling, got my work done, but couldn't get it approved. I guess somebody broke the build. Oh, damn. Sorry to hear that. I don't know why I just used Flamethrower. <laughs> This is why nobody touches anything I code. Also, no one else has Python on their computer. Fair. Are we win? GG's. That was a bop. I like that one. I don't trust these kids. Never again. <laughs> Don't trust Tata anymore now either. I remember sweeping harder. I I might have been a little over leveled. I'm like level 18, 19 right now. I ended up getting a little lost. <laughs> I ended up traveling to like 6 million BC by accident, kind of looking around because I saw it was a new area. And I uh, I, I might have leveled a couple, uh, couple, couple levels. Until I figured out I should have been at, back at 680 this whole time. Just a couple levels. <laughs> Music in this game is phenomenal. Seriously. <laughs> you did the same thing, Robert. Like, like I got confused because it was after the fight. I forget what the name monster's name was, but you beat him. And then Luca mentioned something about going back in time about locating Magus and beating him before he summons Lavos. So I was like, okay, well, I'll do that. And I went back here and I got lost. And I didn't realize you had to go to the kitchen and talk to the chef about the supplies. It didn't click in my head. So I was like, okay, that's like the one person I didn't talk to. So I ended up going all the way to 6 million BC, discovered that whole area. Like I went through the forest, uh, like, there's like two forests up there. I went through both of them. And I even got the evasion ring on Luca now. Which I don't know if I should have had for this battle, but I guess I do have it. So I doubled her evasion. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Such a good ring. I ended up getting that and I leveled up like two or three levels. And then I eventually, I, I may have caved and looked it up and been like, oh my god. <laughs> I was supposed to talk to the chef this entire time. And now, now I'm back on track. I think there are a Maraud of Remastered songs online. That'd be cool. I just found the actually like the original soundtrack on Spotify. So I was listening to that a bit. I'm about to add that bop on there. <laughs> That's the next song I'm adding. I had Nintendo Power for the first half of the game. That's smart. And then, oh God, I miss Nintendo Power <laughs> so much. Gaming magazines. Remember those? Good times. Uh, put this game in that fancy HD2D and I will put the ultra, put in the ultra rare pre-order. Like what to do with like, like get this game like Octopath Traveler vibes or something like that. Like that type of like HD2D. Or what's that new game? A new game that's coming to America? Live and Live? That looks interesting, not gonna lie. That would actually be pretty sick. I think they're remaking one of the Dragon Quest games like that too. There's like a lot of games coming out on that HD 2D. But this and that style would be amazing. I mean, at least we're getting Chrono Cross. So it's something. Not like a super big HD remake, but like at least it's something. Uh, Triangle Strategy. Th tri triangle Strategy. I'm still trying to come up with that name. Live and live, and I suppose Dragon Quest 3. Yeah, the Dragon Quest 3 stuff looked really good. <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, my my thought was it sounded like it needed to go back because she only mentions to go to the fair. So I was like, okay, I'll go to the fair. And they mentioned something about Magus back in time. So I was like, okay, let me go back. So I went back here. I didn't find what I needed. So I was like, you know what? There was a new new area. Let me just check that out. I'm like, it's new. <laughs> like if I get a new area to explore, I'm going to check it out. And that's when I just started leveling up. Uh, when I saw the Chrono Cross announcement, I went, a ret I went to a retro shop to see how much the PS1 version is. Just buy it now before it's too late. Actually, no. It'd probably be a lot cheaper now, huh? Or no. Would it be more expensive? I don't know how that works. But true. Uh, the BDS Massa. That was fun. Do you think they'll fix us? Will they find our proper owner. Yes, it'll be all right. Eat. Oh wow, I was, I was down to two MP on Chrono. All right, <laughs> nice. It was day nice. Heal a little bit. <laughs> $20 complete in box? Really? That's cheap. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it was open. I was like, you know what? I'm exploring it. <laughs> Seems new. To the mass moon. This sword is the legendary Massimoon. Its appearance would indicate that a great deal of time has passed since it was broken. Obtained the- I was gonna say, it did look broken. Oh, I'm like, I gotta craft it. <laughs> Probably gonna go to a different time period. Allow me, we ride the wind to the base of the mountain. Good luck to you. Where's Tata? Is the kid still there? Well, that happened. <laughs> You're just looking for Marco. Maybe we'll check if he came back. Unless I have to use the sword and take it to... Uh, there he is. F forgive me, truth be told, I plucked this badge from the floor of the tavern. Some besoded froggish fellow dropped it as he stumbled out. I thought to sell it. See, but then everyone started calling me the hero when they saw it, and well, I didn't know what to do but go along with it. Oh, busted. <laughs> but it's too much for me. This hero business, I've had enough. Here, you can have the badge. Tata's father. Oh, what was I thinking? I knew I'd turn... It turned out to be something like this. I'd all have seen it sooner. Oh. Listen to me, him. <laughs> Listen to him, and who does he think was going around bragging to everyone he's afraid the hero? I'll let myself get all swept up when I should have been looking out for my boy. Well, from now on, I'll make sure both of our feet stay on the ground for his dear departed mom's sake. Oh. So I got the badge. I'm not a fan of how the upgraded PS1 games look, like Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9 ports, they look off. Yeah, they're kind of just, like I say, they're just ports, they're not really like remakes, other than like, I don't know, Final Fantasy 7 remake. So I'm looking for the frog. I wonder if he's at the magic cave. Also, I guess he'll probably sell some stuff. <laughs> Alright. Are we doing items wise? 30. We're looking pretty good. 
Oh yeah, the uh, like the actual Final Fantasy VII remake on PS4 looks sick, gnarly, gnarly, dude. All right. Oh, you were looking for the rainbow. What you call it, right? A place known as the Magic Cave lies east of that place. Sends chill down on the grown man's spine. All right. Maybe that's what I should check out next. At this point, it's like, what else? <laughs> So there should be a wall here? Something needed to open that up. Probably the Massaman. <laughs> like a fully decked out Massaman. <laughs> Either way, I can't go there. Uh, so she's looking for her husband. I gotta figure out what to do with... Uh... Alright. I don't need to know that. I appreciate it. I, I don't want to know. Don't worry about me fumbling around. I'll I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about me fumbling around. I want to fumble around. Unless I'm like stuck last second. That's what uh this is for. So just like no no backseating or anything like that. I would I would really appreciate it. But I do want to fumble. I, I like fumbling around. <laughs> Wait, what's it called? Have you played Evoland 2? Kinda similar to this, kind of? I know I've heard of the Evo Land. It sounds familiar. Feels like it's a name I've heard of. I just don't know of it. Since I came home, it seems here is so peaceful to build town. My guy's alright, almost started to miss him because he caused a lot to worry. So Tata was only a fraud after all, always causing trouble that one, but he's not the hero, then where's the real one? Have you heard about the magic cave? I have. Uh, I don't know I don't know anyone else who's played it. I thought maybe you had. I feel like it came up recently, or maybe the wine's fiber game things. Could be. I know I've heard of it. I haven't played it. What is it on? platform wise Why am I time for that rebound begins? I don't know anyone else who's played it, I thought maybe oh yeah. On the plus side you find the magic cave spent <laughs> Jen spent a whole stream trying to find it. Go with the one tile. Oh, oh, no, Jim. Was it like a first playthrough for her? Because I thought she's played it before. I think Barry told me, yeah. 
So I've already talked to these guys. Oh, wait, you. How the days have treated you? I've got some information for you if you buy me a drink. I'll sell you a drink. You gave me some good stuff last time. Barkeep, another round. Word has it, an odd beast has taken up residence deep in the southern wood. Strange as it may sound, they say it's a monstrous frog. Okay. So I have to go to the woods. Got it. Many people visit the inns. If you're searching for someone, enter their fine place ass. You always go to the taverns. If D&D &D has taught me anything, if you need information, you go to the taverns. They will give you everything. Also, I went to the wrong end. That's fine. Her first playthrough was... I didn't realize that was her first playthrough. I thought she had played it before. Oh, okay. I had no idea about that. <laughs> it's probably the opposite of me. I probably spent like hours wandering around like one area being like, I don't know where to go. And she's like, yeah, I just go straight to 618. <laughs> Talk to the chef. It's fine. Okay, so I mean, I kind of figured I had to go here. It's the only other place I could have checked out. A monstrous frog, though. Oh, well, well, I guess there are monstrous frogs. The fuck? Oh, snakes. So what was that? That's awesome, though. I like origin stories. The origin. Hi, Jen. Honestly, though, every time I see Luca, the only thing I see now is just Jen. <laughs> that's that's all I describe Luca as. Oh my god, it's Jen. I was very close to just actually renaming her to Jen, but I felt like for a first playthrough, I just wanted to name everyone based on like their default names. So I figured like Robo is probably actually Robo, Chrono's Chrono because Luca, Marley's Marley. Frog's Frog, and then there's other. <laughs> the one other party member we haven't gotten yet. I know there's one more just based on the cover. Or at least the intro. I think she's from like the 65 million BC area. But I don't know who that is. We haven't met that person yet. And she played the SNES version, right? I think she actually told me that. Because I was trying to debate whether or not I wanted to play that version or the Steam version. Which I kind of felt comfortable enough playing this version. And honestly, it's not that bad at all. I actually don't mind it. Yeah, she couldn't get the Steam version to work. Okay. I had a very issue with the Steam version. Um, what was it? With like OBS a little bit? <clears throat> Only because it wouldn't actually list the game as like a game capture. I don't know why. It would not just take a game capture. I can just do a window, which is what I'm doing. I don't prefer this option. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Uh, that was the only issue I really had with it, but otherwise the game ran for me. And I did see there were a plethora of mods, but I didn't really want to touch those. I'm like, I just want to play a native <laughs> to whatever this is. This version has a better translation? Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. There is a legendary translation? <laughs> okay, let me say that again. Legendary. Translation error in the SNES version that missed her near then. That misled her near the end of the game. Oh, really? Oh, damn. I feel like I'm gonna have to go back and watch her playthrough once I actually get through this finally. I if it's on her YouTube. I 
I was watching her stream a little bit when I got home. That's all she was, uh... She was a vampire. <laughs> Looked very cool. Or maybe that was just a tie over stream. It was one of the two. <laughs> I was gonna say, did that snake just kill his friend? That actually makes a lot of sense. Kill the frog, get HP. Also, hello? She was just up today, just for Valentine's Day. Okay, yeah, that was it. Oh. Is this where Frog is? Who's there? Yep. Ah, uh, Chrono, what brings you here? Time to practice your sword play? <laughs> like he's just living in the full bush down here? Magic scarf, guys. Okay, hold up. Uh, where am I at? Say, is that like an item? Accessory? Oh, wait, I've already had one. Yeah, it's alright. Uh, yeah, what are you doing? I'm surprised you found this place. That badge is that? It is. I see, so you met the lad. There's not a thing it can do against the Fiend Lord. To fight him would require the legendary Master Moon, which is no it's matters low. Even I had the Even had I the blade. Even had I the blade. See, even if I had the blade, I have no right to wield it. Please leave me be. I have it. <laughs> Come back, man. But it wasn't here. Oh. Okay. A broken sword hilt. This is part of the master moon. Something is written in that uh, words. Script. I will attempt to decipher it. Our kick. <laughs> I was gonna say Rochelle. <laughs> Ro 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 clum Ori Calcum Archaic <laughs> Yeah Ro Ro Clem. All I can think of is Ori Calcum or something like that. Roy Clem? Error, I reversed the order. It says Mel, Mel, need Mel. Uh, Mel, Mel, Mel Choir. Mel Choir. I don't know if that's even right. I'm just gonna stick with it. Oh, that's my story. That guy from Medina? No, it couldn't be. Wait. Medina? Mel Melchior. That oh, actually makes a lot more sense. Medina. Like future Medina? Wait. The guy making the bell? Melchior. Wait. Yeah. Um. There are none alive who can bend the mess moon. That's what you think. <laughs> maybe not in this period. Actually, maybe in this period. I'm trying to remember where this person's at. Melchior. Melchior. I should have just fought the other ones too, it's fine though. 
Melchior. I just want it to be Melchior. <laughs> kind of like Quagsire. Or Quagmire. Quagsire, too. A nice snake. Killing his frog friends. That lash it with Jim makes sense, though. I, I'm impressed. Well, it's awkward. Okay, so I remember a blacksmith. I'm just trying to remember which era it was. They mentioned Medina. Medina, I think it's the original village. I wonder if it's anyone in this time period that can do it, or I have to go into the future, have them craft it, and then bring it back here. Like it's one of the two. So definitely can't go to 65 million BC and have them craft it. <laughs> I did feel bad enough that I gave, uh, it was just poor, right? Yeah, it's not here. Um, <laughs> that I gave them like titanium vest. So I'm like, I kind of feel like I sold it to the people in 65 million BC. And I'm like, I, I might have altered history doing that. <laughs> Is this Medina? Just want to make sure I'm going the right way. Residence. This is truce. Medina, wait, where's Medina? <laughs> Maybe it is the future. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember names. Uh, okay. It might be the future. Need a reminder? I might need a reminder. I'm just trying to think. Nye. Uh... Alright, I'll take the reminder. <laughs> I think it's the future. Well, not future, like present day. I keep saying future. <laughs> oh, you're good. I think it's present day. So I feel like I have to go to present day and then find the person. Oh, you're right. All right. I mean, I was close. It was present day. <laughs> I forgot about those little imps. I like the friendly ones. Oh yeah, we talked about Sea of Stars. That Evil Land too. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm curious about Evil Land too. Evoland? Evil Land? Honestly, I'm just thinking of uh whatchamacallit, Evo. <laughs> the competition. Gaming things. Words. Smash Brothers. Fighting games. Fighting game tournaments? That's all I'm thinking of when I hear Evo. But I know I've heard Evo land. Friendly is a word that's in the language, sure. <laughs> True. Yeah, Medina. I probably, I probably would have figured that out. Alright, where's your, where's your friend? Or is it you? I think they're like, why is there magic in you? That's so fucked up though. Wait. See. No, you're Ozzy the 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 faith. They were gonna kill your uh, ancestor. Evolve into 
evolve and do. Okay. Now I just have to remember where his Mel Melchior is. It's probably Melchior's place or something. That's Medina Inn. It's Elder's house. That's a resonance. Hello? <laughs> Spoiling my drink. Oh wait, no, that's like guy all the way out in the field. Never mind. Okay, I think I remember him. It's uh whatchamacallit? These monsters aren't friends. It's this guy. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I thought a monster was gonna craft the massive moon. And it would have been so fucked up with the monsters after he crafted it. And this entire time they were like, why why did we fail? <laughs> And just happens to be like you, you messed them up in the present day. <laughs> but no, never mind. That's why I was kind of hoping for it. It would have been so messed up. I would love that. Uh, oh, you're back. Come to see my cool mess moon. <laughs> the sword, that's the mess moon. Uh, how did you get this? Why would your name be engraved on that sword? Melchior. That's a very long story. But that is a story you came to hear, is it not? Of course, tell us about the Massimoon. Can you reforge it? I could, were it possible for us to get our hands on some of the dreamstone from which the sword was made. Just tell me what time period and I'll go. Dreamstone, no record of such a substance exists in my memory banks. So it's not in the future. It's nowhere to be found anymore. It was a glittering red... 65 million BC. Okay. It was a glittering redstone once valued even more than gold. Unfortunately, that was long, long ago. Longer even than you can imagine. Got it. All right. 65 million BC. Yeah, it would make sense why I need to go there. Why did that open so early, though? Can I actually go through the portal from, uh... Here? No, I have to go. No, I can. Cool. Just kind of jump into your closet. No big deal. Okay. Actually, let's heal while we're here. I really want to check that. Oh. Dreamstone? Yes, I remember the word as an incredibly ancient mineral, if I recall. Have you considered searching for some in the prehistoric era? Yeah, that's where I was going. Like, when we first got here, I kept poking around at that at the top right. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I am very curious, though. I'll leave it alone, though. Uh, was it you? Oh, I think it was you. So what's this? Lean square, yeah, it's not that. So let's go here. I have curiosity, have you attempted the bucket? I have. Well, the first time. Because I kept poking at it. <laughs> and he kept saying, hey. That's when I was, for the first time I was here. But I never did anything else. I just, I just left it. <laughs> I'm assuming something big comes with the bucket. I feel like it's a very weird, weird reason why I was like being so careful with it. It's gotta be something important. But I've just been leaving it alone. Uh, those things are all green and scaly. This was not happening the last time I was here. This life form is most perplexingly unusual. It appears to possess both human and dinosaur traits. Oh. Okay. gonna do that. Yeah, that's where I've been pretty much doing. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Say, I think I'm gonna end up just countering everyone. Now you're gonna attack him. Robo fall asleep? Okay. Numbered. Yeah, that got loud. <laughs> yeah, it's like anime, are you? <laughs> Was amazed and confused. She just fight with her fist. <clears throat> Amazing what that SNES can render. Seriously, who is that? Her combat capabilities far exceed those of ordinary humans. Man, we messed up in the future. <laughs> like a cat? Uh, the shift in behavior corresponds to an unfavorable change in targets. Okay. Flying in, hey, what's up? What are you? This female is in a severely agitated state. Prov provocation <laughs> is inadvisable. She trying to pick a fight? I don't think she's picking a fight. You strong, what name? Yeah. Chrono name, good name. Me name, me. Saila? I am not familiar with you. Okay. Isla. I'm keeping I'm keeping it as default. That's why I've been doing, because I figured that's what their actual names are. Alright, so I'm assuming it's Isla. The Isla. Isla like strong man, so Isla like Chrono. Looks like somebody's got a new friend. He's strong too. I like strong person. Man, woman, both like. <laughs> I, I don't mean uh, I'm. <laughs> Luca blushing. Yes. <laughs> She's like, I've never seen anything like you. <laughs> you strange person, but strong too. That's because I am a robot. Robot? <laughs> <laughs> what robot? I love not no robot. A robot is a humanoid machine constructed by humans. What you say, no say word Ayla not know. Ayla head go boom. <laughs> Why do I really want to put Ayla and Robo in the same team? Chrono, where from? An explanation cannot be formulated within the bounds of her understanding. Or from way after the day after tomorrow. It's true. Haha, <laughs> you funny. 
I don't like funny person. It's no use. You come village. Talk and eat. Dance, drink, fun. We'd love to go, but we're looking for some dream stone right now. Stone? Stone everywhere. Here, there. Village. I like give you many, many stone. Ayoka village this way. Follow Isla. She's interesting. <laughs> I love she's just like, I'm a fly up here, excuse me. Just like roll fly. Got a barrel fly rolling my way through here. Alright, so yeah, I already been through. So yeah, so I ended up going here, finding a bunch of these monsters early on. So it's the reason why I'm a little, uh, a little bit stronger. What time is it right now, anyway? Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna have to take a quick BRB and a couple. And we'll probably go like another hour or so. Excuse him, what? Turn protect. Sweet. So what's that do? Protects? I mean defense? If I get that right? Allies defense. Cool. I do like she like that. That's actually really good. Do you wonder how good? Like if there was like an all protect, that'd be nice. I'm assuming that's probably like late game, if anything. I should change my team up a little bit. Just to get like some of the, all like all the characters involved a little. Even though I do like this team of Robo and Luca. I'm getting very comfortable with them. Hi there. Going out slow. Hey, okay, Villa, just wait for Isla. So sorry. All right, the villagers up here. Get some just check these places out. All right, so I've already talked to them already. Yeah, I should just go to probably the actual village or the meeting grounds. No finish yet, or wait. Chief. She the chief? She's the chief. Good, Chrono come. Night soon, finish ready for party. Chrono this way. Listen, Ayala, we make new friend. Strong man, Chrono. Chrono friend, Robo, Luca. Ooga. Uga chaka uga uga. <laughs> no. Uh, now dance bobanga. <laughs> I 
Can I dance? Oh, is this where they learned to dance from? From like the fair? Corey, no, eat, drink, dance, sing. Okay. Can I dance with them? No, I won't let me. Booga, 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 people. Dance with wind people. <laughs> Dance with mountain people. Sing, sing, dance all night. You were mad at me before. You're not an Ioka person. Why I like give party? Strange. Uh, good music. Want, we want past down many, many generations. It succeeds all right. <laughs> Luca, Robo. This is the most appropriate use of our time in the current situation. <laughs> oh, should I or shouldn't I? <laughs> Do I dig in? Can I dig in? Okay. So I feel like I pretty much talked to everyone. Can I try a drink? This only special time drink. Good drink. Name school smash. Next day school feel like smash. Uh, Ioka village by Reptite. Leader named Azala. Azala very smart. All in Ioka Vite. I oh. <clears throat> I can speak. All in Ioka Village fight. No fight person go La <laughs> La Ruba Village. Always run from Reptite. Always hide. Not nowhere village. Azala want to destroy Ioka. La Ruba both. But Isla no lose. Only when Isla dead stop fight. No more talk that. Today meet Chrono. Good day. Eat, drink, dancing. A day. <laughs> English speak, good you. Oh, oi. <laughs> Don't know why I said oi. Yeah, oi. Uh, what do you think? Sukasa. Words? The bathing? What? Chrono, you've got to try Shamba. <laughs> Lucas, Luca, uh, Luca, you know, you're a little, little too much. Yeah, I gotta try it. Look at that face. What is that? You a man or a moosh? <laughs> Drink it in one gulp. I <laughs> love the little, like, pixelated black dots of Chrono just being like, what the f? Right, what is this? Oh, it has his chin? Oh, I thought that was his eyes. No, that was his eyes. Never mind. <laughs> Burp. Can I walk around? <laughs> Can I keep drinking it? <laughs> Maybe we should not. By Europa. This fluid contains immeasurable impurities. <laughs> I wonder how Marley would have been here. Robo's kind of just like, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> oh, okay. Chrono Red Rock, look for this rock. Rare Red Rock, have rock, mean strong person. Isla most strong. Ayoka Village, so Isla Rock. Isla rocks. Chrono want, Chrono challenge Isla. Win, Isla give. Chrono challenge Isla. Yeah. Isla go, get more skull smash. Party now, so drink. Chrono and Isla have battle, who drink more? This is like a minigame. 
Yes, it is. <laughs> we start. Mash A mini time. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to... I'm uh, keep it away from the microphone though, so I don't uh, uh, press A too loudly. I think I'm doing pretty good. I will drink and consume. Barp. No more Chrono. I let loose. Give rock. Thank you. Chrono, drink good. Drink one more. Too strong, Chrono. Four. Maybe too much drink. Oh. oh okay. I thought I had to mash A more. We're gonna wake up wasted. Yep. Grano has the biggest hangover. Did Robo get a hangover? I'm so confused. Wait, good, good morning. It appears that liquid induces peculiar behavior. In oh, man. <laughs> Poor Luca. <laughs> I did what last night? Liar. Oh, but why does my head hurt like this? Hey, where, where did these footprints come from? It's gone. They stole everything. The gate key is gone. The thief must have left these prints. Without the key, we're stuck here forever. This is bad, we have to go see Isla. Ugh, snort. <laughs> uh, oh, Chrono, early wake. Uh, too much skull smash. <laughs> Sorry to wake you, but someone stole something important from us while we were asleep. Chrono, we gotta get back to the future. <laughs> Hell yeah. What? Stole? Must be Reptite. Or it could be the one person. Kyo? Kyo? Kino? Chrono go with Isla, we find bad Reptite. Who else come? Okay. Uh, you know what? I want to change it up a little bit. Let's get Marley. <laughs> no, she's like, who the hell are you? Uh, maybe village person C. We go ask Chrono. Come, pick. <laughs> Cause I haven't used Marley in a while. So what's her type? She has no type. Okay. Cause I know like Lucas Fire. Oh, cause I haven't gotten her ability yet. Never mind. I have to go through the uh, time portal thing. All right, that's after this whole. Yeah. All right. Anyway, power scarf, strength plus four. Quack. Quack. How you doing, Trav? Come on in. How's your day going so far? Defense 20. Damn. I love that she just uses her fist. No weapons. What are her texts? She has the kiss. <laughs> Lately heal ally and restore her status. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. So they say uh, stole her stuff. Footprints follow. Doing right somehow, didn't see you were alive until now. Oh, you're good. Okay, so obviously we got the footprints. Kind of stuck around. I think it's going to be up there, like toward the nest. Let's see anyone else got to say anything to say. I mean, we'll talk to everyone and then I'll go up north. Have you Fang, Petal Horn, Feather? Give me six, three each, two kind. Give me a good strong thing. Okay. Try for Ruby. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, let's do Fang and Horn. How goes Chrono Trigger today? Very, very well. Interesting. Let's do Petal and Horn. Shaman's Bow. Okay. Yeah, it's going very well. Uh, I, we've been doing a lot of traveling <laughs> through times. And uh, Stone Arm. Just getting so many different things. <laughs> Let's do Fang and Feather. Ruby Vest. Oh, whoops. No. All right, so there's one more thing I haven't got. Horn and Feather. Stone Helm. Okay. Could use a couple of those. All right, first things first. Can I equip the Ruby Vest to multiple characters? It's actually weaker than what I currently have on Chrono. Much better on Marley. Definitely do that. Uh, stone Helms are somehow better than Golden Helms. Not going to argue, but we'll do it. Could use another Stone Helm. What was it again? Is it Fang and Feather? No. Stone Arm. Thing? Mammoth Tusk. Just trying to remember <laughs> the combos. I'm just gonna throw go through them all until I eventually find them all. Yeah, that's gotta make sense. <laughs> I've tried pedal and feather thing too. Yeah. Actually, I think it's fucking horn. No, I lied. I know things. I know things. Even though I do actually kind of want to get that too. Horn and feather. That's what I thought I did originally. <laughs> All right. So we got that. Got you the shaman bow. I haven't gotten Chrono a new sword in a while either. Well, actually, never mind. Speed of double. <laughs> I love a mammoth tusk is better than a crimson blade. And like everything made of stone is better than everything that's like golden or titanium or. Anything like that, I love it. One no item? Pedal Fang? Oh. Good to know. Okay. Ruby Vest is apparently very good against fire. All right, so here's what we're going to do real quick. I'm going to take a really quick BRB, and then we're going to explore the forest area up here. I'm pretty sure I have to go through the Dactyl Nest. I think that's where I'm going. Um, when I get back, we'll do that, and then we'll go from there. But we'll do footprints. Uh, I just got to walk my dog real quick. So it'll be like a quick like five, probably like maybe 10 minute break. Uh, feel free to stretch, get water, whatever you got to do. Uh, then when we get back, we'll do more. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. Sorry about that. I was a little bit longer. Uh, I don't know if that clamp, clamp, clap, uh, went through. So let me actually go ahead. I'll just spin my own just to play it. So I did end up having my entire volume muted. So I'm not sure if that actually played. So I'll play it again. But thank y'all. I appreciate it. How you doing, Trev? Uh, I had a trigger. He was triggered. 
those are Chrono Trigger. Let's see what you did there. I hope you're doing well, man. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. You're far too kind. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. I, I, I don't, I do not, I do not feel honored by this kindness that I just received. Thank you. Lola as well. She, uh, we were walking up and our, we ran into one of our neighbors who all she really says is Lola barks at our dog. I'm like, yeah, she barks at everyone. It's a dog. I bark. Move on. But I guess she was bringing up some like dinner. Lola wanted it big time. <laughs> All right. So I think I'm supposed to be going through here. I've been, I've been through here already before, and I did get to the very end. I know there's like a giant mountain at the end, so I'm wondering if that's where I have to go. I'm going to try. Also, I have to remember everyone's uh, stuff. Or... Let's do it. I'm just trying to relearn the moves. I think Isla's gonna be better once I actually give her some magic. Probably after this. I just haven't used the Marling in a while, so that's why I kinda wanna kinda explore and train Ice Sword. Ice Sword? Really? Is that from, yeah, it's from uh, Marley. It's like she only knows Kiss. <laughs> or she will know. So I guess it's kind of similar to that of Fire Sword, which is ice elemental. I do always find it intriguing with these games sometimes when they're like, if you get water ability, you also automatically just know ice. I do find that intriguing a little bit. I get why. But also, you know. Alright, so now I like and heal. Like a teeny bit? I'm wondering how much she actually does heal when she does this kiss. But I guess it's more like she'll heal a little bit and then... Possibly... Well, it heals stats ailment, so I guess it's really good Like if you get confused or something like that, just give him a kiss. And then, he's no longer confused. I hate wake someone up, give him a kiss. Genius. Why can't Chrono do that? Alright, anyway. Uh... All right, I think we're already halfway through. This is actually kind of tough. So she has aura and a lore. Confuses enemies. Ice attack and then cure. So it's like base heal and like super heal. <laughs> Can I? Which one has the MP thing? Yeah. I actually want to swap that. I want to give that to Marley. Take out that rock. Nope. <laughs> yeah, Mike, I know that's gonna do some damage. I'm like, I'm hoping a little bit, like, not as bad. <laughs> I'm hoping, like, I'm a little bit stronger, which definitely looks like I am. <laughs> so I am taking these guys out very, very easily. I'll have to kind of look like Wizard of Oz, like. And the monkeys with the wings. <laughs> I did just realize we got Chrono level 20. So 
So also another feat. Sweet. I mean, worst case, I'm not supposed to go through here and I'm just walking through this whole area yet again. <laughs> but you know, at least we're getting stronger along the way. <laughs> All right, let's attack the rock. I feel like I always want to attack that rock. Like any rock I see, attack it first and then take out the monkeys. What? What did I say? Attack the rock. Attack the rock, then attack the volume monkeys. I don't know if this is where I need to go. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to go here yet. <laughs> Not yet. Alright, so I gotta figure out where to go. So that means once again. <laughs> Drop this whole area. Maybe it's the maze. I didn't even think about that. There's only two other areas I could explore. It's the maze and then... Uh, that forest. But the forest only gave me the bracelet, so I don't think the forest really has anything. I just want to grind. That's all I want to do. <laughs> Clearly. I'm just... Going to all these places and... Being the same enemies up, and yeah, the experience. It's all I need. At least I love them. I let's see what you did there. Mm, I should have fought that. That's fine. I should have fought them though. Rondillo kick? Drill kick? I should be paying attention to what I'm actually reading up there. <laughs> Alright. Jump, kick, an enemy. Cat attack. I have a G-Force update ready to go, so that's fantastic. But savagely claw an enemy with a cat attack.
Also, I meant to attack the, the rock. That, that's fine. Boulder, rock. What? <laughs> Dwayne. <laughs> Some might call him. Dwayne 1, Dwayne 2. So how much does Kiss actually heal? Eh, not much. Yeah, it's a little better. Guess this is gonna like a goal alternative healing. Alright, let me just maybe talk to everyone. <laughs> I've already talked to those two. Let me just talk to these two down here. PC reptites come from meeting grounds, goes, oh the Four. Yeah, I'm done with it yet. Because his fit footprints were going south. And I should have followed them. Yeah, scary place. Many monsters, many paths. Chief, be careful. Alright, so it was a forest maze. Um, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> Reptite strong. Chief, take this. Chain four potions. Reptite leaf footprint when run. Follow print to find lair. Okay. Reptile scales cold blood hard. Wait, wait, say that again? They're tight scales, cold blood, hard to beat. So they're defensive. Possibly. I think I'm losing my voice a little bit. <laughs> Alright, let's save. Just I just wanted to go level up, that's all I wanted to do. But now we're more than ready to go. Yeah, you. Kino, what you do? I was not trusting her at all. Say now. Kino, sorry, Ayala. Kino, take Chrono stuff. Why take? Kino, like Ayala best. Ayala, say, like Chrono. Kino, mad. Kino, jealous. <laughs> Look at Marley. Ayala, you don't have to do that. Kino no, Kino no why Ayla hit. Ayla no like Kino. No, Ayla like Kino best. So Ayla no want Kino do bad thing. Bad thing not good. Ayla. Kino sorry Ayla. Kino sorry Chrono. Give thing back to Chrono. <laughs> about that <laughs> no have reptites take reptite where reptite go run trees there I let go Kino go back village I let gone Kino protect Ioka okay I let uh, Kino man <laughs> I let die I let have baby then Kino chief wait what now Isla. Oh, okay. Follow Reptite. Good Chrono thing. Alright, so follow the footsteps. Got potion. Monkeys? Oh. <laughs> birds. <laughs> I have more monkeys. Nope. Just more flying birds. Different colored flying birds doing skydives. So they're actually kind of tough. Kinda. Okay. Indian water, very nice. Alright, so the footprints are going north. Let's go south. I just want to explore. 
Footprints, whatever. All right, I should have one footprints. Hello. Good time, Mike. How you doing, Miss Lake? Welcome back. That was pristine timing on that one, why did I say? Alright, so I went north. I'm showered, I'm warm, I'm contemplating leaving my windows open tonight. How cold is it? You don't mind me asking for you. I will say for me, I am not. <laughs> Unless I turn up the heat and then crack a window, maybe. That'd be the only reason why I would. It's very cold tonight. Well, not very, very cold, but it's cold. It's cold. Mid to upper 40s? Oh my god, leave that windows open. <laughs> That's extremely comfortable. Mistake. Yeah, it's like 19th here. <laughs> I think. Actually, let me check. How cold is it tonight? Our weather's been very weird. Uh it was Yeah, it's gonna be close to 19 degrees here. It is actually on the dot, 19 degrees. 19 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me learn for those Celsius people. 19 Fahrenheit is uh, the temperature here at the, this Fahrenheit. It'd be chilly. We had snow yesterday. And actually a lot more snow than we thought we were going to have. We ended up having a couple inches. Uh, no one was prepared. <laughs> Like we were expecting to get some flurries, but I don't think anyone expected to get like the little bit that we ended up getting. Uh, but after tonight, we are spiking into the 80s. Holy crap. Summer, hello? Or is this like winter weather for you guys? <laughs> it won't get into the 40s in my apartment. It'll get into the low 60s, upper 50s. I would definitely still either way even then i would crack a window i would 100 percent crack a window we had winter last week fair last week it was actually pretty much the weather that you're having other than the 80s like it was like 50 60 degrees like all week and then by friday it dropped from like friday it was like Six no Saturday. Saturday it was like sixty, and then Sunday it dropped to like thirty and it was snowing. <laughs> so that's how that's how our weather's been. And then today it's been like lower twenty. So within three days we went from like sixty degrees to thirty to like twenty twenty five. And I think at the end of the week it's supposed to shoot back up to like sixty. It's like whether, like, make up your mind whether or not you be hot or cold, or cold or comfortable. <laughs> We're on that brisk of getting the spring. I feel like uh, my windows only crack; they have child locks, so they don't fully open. Uh, no. But how much of a crack is it? Like a like that that big of a crack, or is it like that big of a crack? Like you can clearly tell with my complexion and everything about the fingers. I'm like, is it like that big, or is it like that big? <laughs> like that big, or that big? One, two, 
two, one. That makes sense. Anyway. This is just me trying to get to the cracker windows. <laughs> Early March is super nice though. Low 70s, clear skies, nice breeze. Peak Florida, best time to go to the beach. Actually, that's what people were doing last weekend. People came down, went to the beach. I think it'll be more of the same this weekend because it looks like it's going to be maybe not as comfortable, but I think it's going to be like upper 40s, maybe 50. Nice. Warm enough to surf? Not warm enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, nah. <laughs> uh, did I grab it? No. Yes, maybe. Not really. Hey, you touch that water, you're like, oh, you know what? It's actually freezing. <laughs> uh, hello, uh, Sickness, I am down for you. I've done nothing but attacks. Just throw me. Uh, the Atlantic is a frigid mistress. <laughs> True that. They're cool. Oh my god. Oh, I am so sorry. Excuse me. Uh, the golf is a bathtub, flat, lukewarm, okay to look at, dip your toes in, but not, <laughs> not worth the drive. <laughs> All right. Ugh. That just, ugh. Yeah, I, I've dipped my toes in the Atlantic plenty of times. I actually look to my right and I see the Atlantic right now. <laughs> I'm very biased. No, that's fair though. All right, so I guess we made it out. Am I doing health wise? Let's say I'm a little bit. Because to me, when I set my toes into the ocean, it's like. Absolutely freezing, like right off the bat. I can only imagine how cold it is, like during the winter. It's like your, what was it? Polar diving? <laughs> uh, I need to uh, not do the thing I just did. So that's not gonna do any damage, I don't think. I lied, I did damage. All right. <laughs> Is there anything I need to use some magic? But maybe Isla is just really strong and she can just take people out. Maybe. Or maybe I just actually finally got strong and I can just do physical attacks on these enemies. So the one cave I went into earlier, I tried fighting with physical attacks and it just was not working. Was that? Oh. Can I go back up? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was very curious with the hole in the ground. <laughs> so I'm guessing these are the Reptites? I probably should have looked at their name. Uh, uh, Cito Weevil. It's a Weevil. It's a Weevil. That looks like a face. Like a little bit there. Uh, I also remember tar balls floating in the shore when whatever that whale rig was a. Bur oh, yeah. I keep wanting to call it Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> That is a video game and this is real life. Point is, tar balls kind of <laughs> kill the beach vibe. Deep water horizon. <laughs> They're good. I do actually remember that was years ago, I think, right?
I remember at the time, I definitely did not dip my toes in the ocean. <laughs> that was 2010. God. I felt like that was just a couple of years ago. I do remember. I do remember that. I was still in high school at the time. Now, yeah, back in the days. I should probably be paying attention to the amount of damage I'm doing. Which is, like, none. They did mention Electric Shock's Lord Defense. Forgot about that. <laughs> it's shocked. Alright, let's do regular attacks. Okay, so you have to use electric attacks on them, and then they can do physical attacks. Excellent. All right, cool. I was in the Panhandle at the time. Much nicer golf side spots than the Tampa area. You know, until the tar balls. <laughs> the tar balls? What? I hardly know them. Not gonna lie, I like these little guys. Oh, whoops. Oh, I only died? What the hell that happened? Oh no, she fell asleep. <laughs> I was like, when'd she die? Uh, let's do this. Nice. Oh my god, I want that chest. Is that Chrono? No. You're Chrono. I love that's like it's just shocked. Still more to explore. <laughs> Another dragon. Hell is very fast. I say. for you. Right. Oh, I can give you your ruby gun. Might as well. No, I'm not using it right now, but might as well. Alright, cool. I was like, what's going on down here? I don't know what that thing is. I feel like I want to take it out. Mushroom looking rock. I guess this is where we're at. <laughs> Tag and monkey. Boss back. Okay, actually, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. That's definitely moss. <laughs> Something. 
that's an extremely strong attack. Uh, what can you do? Ice sword? Oh, you just gotta run. Alright, well. GG's. <laughs> Got a little bit of experience, I suppose. Uh, let's go. Let's go left. <laughs> Trying to figure out like which way we should be going. Now I'm starting to contemplate. If... Excuse me. Boo boo. <laughs> hey, that boo boo. I just want to see where this brings me to. It's just literally just bringing me back here. Okay. I should have went straight forward. Cool. Oh wait, I can... No. <laughs> I technically haven't explored everywhere. <laughs> oh, so now I'm rebattling every single one of these enemies again, so... That's happening. <laughs> We know what we gotta level up at some point, right? <laughs> Too strong? Me? Yes? Awesome. <laughs> I love learning cat attack. The thunder chomp? That actually sounds pretty cool. Especially on you. Let's try this out. Thunder Chomp. Deliver a charged bite to the enemy. Okay, she turned like Super Saiyan. of the holes that we are finding. Alright, so they shouldn't be too tough. Surprising they didn't take that much damage there. We should attack the boss first, like I was originally going to do. The game's clearly allowing me to do that. I know at this point, <laughs> might as well attack the big old mon the little monkey, winged monkeys. Might as well at this point. I feel like Cure could be very good. Actually, no, it does the same amount. Am I supposed to use Cure? Oh, because I'm using the 50% consumption thing. That actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Just throw a Chrono at her. <laughs> Please. I love literally that's all they do. It's like they just pick up the nearest thing and they're like, I'm gonna chuck it at you. Like maybe it'll take you out, maybe it won't. I'll level it up again. Noise. Uh, 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 I know there's a bunch of enemies up ahead. So I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, what do I want to do? Ooh. 
We'll be good. Uh, let's do lightning. On the low kick. I'm trying to attack like more than one enemy. What I'm trying to do. I don't think I had that option with these. I got this team. Looks like a lot of them will do like combo attacks together, but like a single attack and on the enemy. Nothing like hitting multiple. Maybe that's where Luca and uh, Robo might come into play. All right, something's about to come up. So I think we're about to fight a boss or something along that line. Feels like that. <laughs> Given where we're about to go. Or actually, better yet. Yeah. Let's use, use one ether. I don't think I'm gonna need two. I probably should be using my shelters. <laughs> so I never use them. So this is an opportunity where you use shelters. Well, it restores HP as if yeah, I should be using those. So I'm like, I'm gonna use my ethers and <laughs> Yeah, I should have been doing that from the get-go. Oh, well, it's too late now. All right, cool. Let's, let's do it. See what we got up here. What in the world? Music. <laughs> those filthy apes have crafted something that's advanced. Azala. Is this one of the, uh... And so the hairless apes arrive and... Ah, uh, and these new ones appear cut from finer cloth and Isla. Perfect, this should make things easier. Tell me, apes, what is the purpose of this device? Tell Azala about the gate key? No. I suppose you need some motivation. So be it. I'm not going to tell you anything. Come, Nisbil. That's a yo down to Triceratops. I love it. Let's try, let's try out Thunder Chops. I love all the enemies are literally just yoked out dinosaur monster looking things. All right, they are weak against electricity. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna use cleave and claw attack. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, discharge! Discharge! I get it. Dino Chad can hurt you. <laughs> you only exist in your dreams. I knew they were wrong. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, yeah, so you, I might do lightning every other turn. Or maybe every turn. Just to make sure he doesn't. Yeah, it's not good. Isla might be dead. Yeah. Uh, Stu or a whirl. I was a little aggressive there. A little too aggressive. Alright, I want to revive Isla. I think I'm gonna end up... I should not have done that either. That was like bad timing on that. Let's just make sure we're all full health because you're gonna discharge. Yeah. So you get like a small window to discharge it. But the moment you do it, it's like you better be ready. Alright, let's heal you. Cure. Oh my god, the one person I did not want to cure. <laughs> Selection's not great. Not gonna lie.
Alright. So you're doing... Shift healed. I need to do Aura Whirl like as soon as possible. Perfect. So if I figure I can do a quick heal and then have Isla do an attack, and then just keep up with the heals. Like maybe wait a turn, be careful about it. Do another Aura Whirl. Can't really do much with her. <laughs> Take an attack. I'm not gonna be able to do much this turn. Alright, so do lightning, cat attack. Maybe try to get a heal in with uh Marley. I'll try to see if I can get like a cleave. I'll try to get some really quick attacks in. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it, but I'll try. I got it in. I'm actually very surprised. There we go. I just got to keep up with my health. That's the only thing. Alright, let's do Aura Whirl. And then let's do an attack. All right, let's do it. It's like, now let's do one more or just to play it safe. <laughs> Probably won't need it, but we'll do it. All right, yeah, I got the strategy down for this. We should be good. I can take the hit here. So do lightning, get attack, cat attack in. Hey, be able to get an attack with Marley. Yeah, attack really quick here. Now I'll try to get a cleave. Cleave and maybe another cat attack. I move fast enough. <laughs> Just try to get Marley to heal herself real quick. There we go, we're good. That's a tricky boss. Try, like, trying to have the plan around like healing and making sure you're not being too aggressive. Like be aggressive, but be careful. <laughs> the apes be Nisbel. Give thing back to Chrono now. Very well, we've won today, but know that we reptites are the rulers of this world. Will not surrender to you filthy apes. So nice. Is the Geeky alright? Oh thank goodness, it looks like it's okay. Has Ayla come any time? Ayla no Ooh. Is she okay? Chrono leave? No. Chrono Ayla no fun. Thanks, Ayla. I learned a lot from you. Sorry, Chrono. Kino, try be strong now. Even more strong, Chrono. Come again, Chrono. Have party, drink, eat, dance, fight, fun. <laughs> okay, so we got the red stone, right? There you give it to us. All right, I'm assuming we have it. <laughs> Let me look at my key items real quick. <laughs> Uh, where are you at? Yeah, Dreamstone. All right, we're good. All right, what time we got? All right, I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm actually going to wrap it here. I think that was a good spot. So I think we're going to be heading back to Frog, and we're going to have to give him the Dreamstone when we get back. I think I'll wrap right before we do that. <laughs> but thank you all for watching. They're still here. I really do appreciate it. This was a lot of fun today, I'm not gonna lie. I love this, I'm really loving this game. <laughs> it's seriously one of becoming one of those games where it's like, I wanna keep going, but also I kinda need to be smart and not do too much <laughs> all at once. Like, 
taking my time. <laughs> but I'm truly, truly, truly enjoying this game. Truly. Uh, thank you all. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Trav. Thank you all for still being here. I know it's late. <laughs> it's very, very late. Uh, I don't think I really have... Uh, let's see. Yeah, hey, thank you guys for being here. Dumba, Trav, Mystique. Y'all want to join in on the raid real quick? We do a quick one. So I think I'm going to go raid, say hi, and then immediately collapse in my bed. <laughs> 